What makes the SILS experience unique is that it combines the benefits of a large public university with the feeling of a tight-knit community. Many of our graduates have already accepted offers with prestigious academic institutions, research organizations, and industry-leading companies. Fellow graduates, we may have a wide variety of backgrounds, passions, and career goals, but our diverse paths have crossed here at SILS. We were brought here by our desire to challenge ourselves, to improve ourselves, and to prepare ourselves to contribute to a brighter future. The faculty and I are confident that the talents and skills you now possess will lead you to exciting and interesting careers. We hope you continue to challenge yourselves and others with whom you will work or collaborate to arrive at new ideas and solutions that will advance the profession. You are our future. You will want to keep your head up to see changes that are beginning to appear on the horizon. You will want to stay connected so you can find out about those changes as they're developing. You'll want to cultivate an attitude toward life that is eager to learn new ideas and use new information technologies. You've had a chance to get some practice with this during your time at SILS, but don't stop there. Keep it going. The Alfreda Chapman Award is presented twice each year to master's students who demonstrate creative and scholarly vision in their research proposals. Today, we would like to acknowledge Justin Kreft. We also recognize Emma Butcher. Please join me in giving a round of applause for them. The first Dean's Achievement Award for highest quality master's papers goes to Meredith Hale for her paper, Searching for Art, a Log Analysis of the Ackland Art Museum Collection Search System. The second award is given to Emma Butcher, predicting the difficulty of trivia questions using text features. In addition to celebrating the achievement of our student today, we also celebrate the long-standing tradition of excellence in teaching. I'm very pleased to present the first award to Emily Wardell. Her students praised her as being extremely knowledgeable, enthusiastic, organized, and a clear communicator. Now I will present the award to full-time faculty member, Dr. Ron Berquist. Student described this person as friendly and approachable, always willing to answer questions, explain things, and listen to students' idea. Genuinely interested in the success and well-being of every student. A very enthusiastic teacher with a, with a clear passion for the subject matter. The two winners of the 2016 Outstanding Service to the School Award have been amazing ambassadors for SILS, both within the school and the larger community. The first recipient was an active member of the faculty search committee. This student also coordinated volunteers for the community workshop series. The second recipient, by virtue of his outgoing nature, has been a mentor and friend to many SIL students. He parlayed his field experiences and his storytelling prowess into some marvelous community connections. Twice a year, the SILS Alumni Association recognizes alumni who have demonstrated outstanding professional library or information science achievements. Tim is a true leader with a knack for inspiring his colleagues and his students to do their best work. Alumni who've gone before you have demonstrated that with the SILS education and their own unique and varied interests, great things can happen. You're now prepared to go in positions that could change the world. You've invested in your education and you can undoubtedly meet the challenges of the ever-changing field of information head on. You are now part of our family, forever tied to Chapel Hill and to SILS. As of today, we are positioned to become leaders in the ever-evolving field of information and library science. Our dedication to excellence has led us to this moment. That same spirit will guide us through our careers, and I fully expect that years from now, members of this graduating class will be innovating and pushing the limits of our field. 